From the Magpie Newsletter, Issue 56, published January 2004. A Nature Note by Roger Morris. Rabbits, again. Winter is a time of hardship for many animals, especially those that don't hibernate. This year, despite the relatively mild autumn, the signs of winter are very obvious because rabbits have debarked many young trees and shrubs, especially spindle, hawthorn and ash. The level of debarking is as high as I can remember, and I certainly don't recall seeing ash affected in this way before. Many of these shrubs and small trees have lost an almost complete ring of bark to perhaps 18 inches above the ground. Interestingly, it is noticeable that many of the broader trunks have been particularly affected on southerly and westerly facing sides. The question is, why so much damage this year? I suspect that despite occasional outbreaks of myxomatosis and rabbit hemorrhagic disease, rabbit populations have soared and there is just not enough food to keep them going. However, bark stripping is not particularly unusual where trees fall and soft bark twigs lie close to the ground. One often sees fallen limbs stripped of bark by rabbits. Short-tailed field voles also strip bark and are occasionally seen on the lower branches of shrubby apple trees, which seem to be particularly favoured. Despite its unpalatable appearance, young thin bark doubtless supplies many dietary needs of these animals, including sugars and trace elements, and also gnawing also keeps their teeth sharp. Will the affected trees and shrubs survive? Some probably will, but the level of damage to spindle is high and it is possible that the current plants will die. However, spindle generates well from suckers, and it is unlikely there will be any permanent loss. As for the other trees and shrubs, we must wait and see. Incidentally, spindle is an unusual part of the shrub community on the common because it is normally associated with calcareous habitats and is found especially on chalk. The spindle tree. This is a lovely bush in the autumn. The leaves turn a pinky red and the fruits are coral pink berries that burst open to expose fleshy seeds of a startling orange colour. The wood is used for spindles and pegs and it also makes good charcoal. On the common they are found on the high ground near Cedars Avenue.